Hi guys, so I'm going to try and make this like really short as I usually try to do but it never ends up that way because I seem to ramble on about shit. So I want to go back to going and doing it really short. Um, I am back in Cornwall now which kind of is alright I guess. My hair is now purple and my bed is still a mess as it always is. So I'm just going to get straight on with the news and um, well things that really are interesting to me which is hardly anything because apparently I don't like anything ever anymore so anyway I'm gonna get on with it and um, I hope you guys are okay and okay okay I'm gonna start okay so the first thing that kind of caught my eye which was it's not really that interesting I guess but it is kind of a little bit is the fact that Amazon the big online retailer is apparently in the works for making their own Android based console the console coming from Amazon is apparently following the Ouya footsteps so it's going to be like a custom console for your living room and apparently Mad Cats are also creating their own Android console so I guess it's all about like the Android stuff I've not actually tried the Ouya yet and I really really would like to because I kind of want to see what the fuss is about. Xbox One users are going to be able to share their gold status with multiple accounts in their household. This feature is going to be called Home Gold and you basically, it, it's exactly what I've, I've just said and you basically you can share your status with people in your household which is going to be really really good. This is going to include access to multiplayer gaming as well as entertainment apps like Skype and Internet Explorer and it's also going to include Smart Match and Game DVR. You can also log into your friends Xbox One consoles and you'll be able to share your gold status with them but as long as you are still logged in and on that console you can share your shit basically. Doing it this way means that you don't have to share one live account and that you can have loads of different ones in your household without the other people having to pay the $60 subscription fee so it's like a one off $60 fee for everyone else to use. The same thing is going to be applied to your digital downloads as well where on your home console people will have access to your games that you've downloaded and all that kind of stuff but if you're on another Xbox console they can only have access if you're logged on. The next one is about the PS4 and the fact that if you pre-order after the 5th of August you may not get your console on the release date. Amazon and Asda have already put out a notice saying that you might not get your console if you pre-order after the 5th of August and Tesco and Game are expected to follow that pretty soon but they haven't actually told any of their customers yet because I'm guessing they don't have shortages. That's everything I'm going to talk about because I that's the only thing that's really interested me lately really. Um, I hope you guys have had a really, really lovely last week, <laughs> and I hope you're going to have a really good week this week, um, and I will speak to you guys next week, because my vlogs are going back to once a week. I will speak to you guys next week, and I hope you're all well, and having a nice little time doing whatever you're doing, and um, oh yeah, I'll speak to you guys next week. Next week. Bye bye!